Thank you, Representative Ginter, and I'd like to welcome everybody here. I, like my colleagues, was also shocked and disgusted by the revelations that came out of the Attorney General's findings this past week. Today I stand in support of my fellow House Republicans, Representative Sears and Representative Ginter, and their effort to introduce legislation to require the Director of the Department of Health to develop more specific rules when it comes to the issues, to this issue and methods for disposition. In addition to this, for a matter of a few months, Representative Kaler and Senator Eaker and I have been working on legislation that would also attack this from another angle. We are introducing a separate piece of legislation that will seek to promote the dignity of the unborn through proper burial or cremation, while also strengthening Ohio's laws and informed consent. Under this legislation, a pregnant woman who has an abortion will be the one who determines the final disposition of that aborted infant, that being through burial or cremation. After providing written notice to the clinic on a form that would be provided by the Ohio Department of Health. The mother would then direct the clinic to dispose of the aborted infant either by earthly burial or cremation. As I stated, this bill would also require the clinic to document the pregnant woman's decision in their medical record. I believe this legislation will help to address some of the other issues that were brought to light by the Attorney General's office. I look forward to hearing from the Ohio citizens on this issue and continuing a longer discussion. I also look forward to working with my colleagues in the House and the Senate on taking action. Today we stand with the voiceless. Today we stand for the dignity of the unborn. And with that, I will pass it to my colleague, Representative Kaler. Good afternoon and thank you for coming today. I want to thank my colleagues for their support, Representative Sears, Ginter, and McCulley, and also State Senator Hugh Eaker uh, for his support on, on a companion bill. As a father of five children, one of the unexpected difficulties is answering those difficult questions your kids have for you as they grow up. Questions like, why did our country have slavery at one point? Or on 9-11, why did those planes fly into those big buildings? Or after news break in the car, when you hear from the back seat, after they've listened to the news and between some songs, Dad, what's abortion? A report surfaced this past summer about Planned Parenthood possibly selling body parts. The questions did not get any easier as I answer questions of my children, even as they come into their teens. I want to thank the Attorney General for investigating those reports. I want to make it perfectly clear today. Somehow being able to tell my children that the reports of selling body parts possibly is not true because someone's throwing those aborted children into a landfill does not make me feel better. It makes the situation worse. These are the questions I have trouble answering as an adult. I'm reminded of questions I've had when traveling abroad. My, my wife is uh, the child of uh, immigrants from Germany. Because of that, I've had the uh, privilege of traveling and seeing their homeland. Um, one of the questions I've had is when I visited some of the things that happened in World War II, specifically the first German concentration camp called Dachau. Horrible things happened there. People that lived around that village said nothing about what was going on. Either they didn't want to believe it or they supported it. There were some that didn't know what was going on and looked over the wall. There's a plaque on the outside of that camp that says that folks who were too inquisitive or spoke out against it were thrown in. My point today is this, we can no longer sit on the wall about what Planned Parenthood is doing within their facilities. Whether they're selling body parts or simply tossing them into landfills doesn't matter to me anymore. As a legislator, I can no longer stand by and trust what Planned Parenthood does with the body of aborted babies. In response of this, Representative McCauley and I have introduced a bill that is all about giving the decision of the disposition of the aborted child to the mother. Those who support abortion often like to talk about the decision. Our bill simply codifies who can make that decision when it comes to this disposition of the child. It's the mother who will choose between two humane processes, traditional burial or cremation. This bill does not restrict a woman's right to choose an abortion. Sadly, that choice is still an option. But it does remove the right of groups like Planned Parenthood to toss the bodies of aborted children in landfills across Ohio. 
this is what we need to do. I believe we're ready 